morning guys so today Lucy and I are going to a Brazilian steakhouse for our New York City food vlog but I just first want to show you guys how crazy the New York weather is yesterday it was like 60 degrees like almost summer weather and now like eight hours later we get this super bipolar weather but we're still gonna try to enjoy our Brazilian food today so let's hope it warms hope it warms us up guys the snow is perfect for a snowball fight oh <laughs> yeah Welcome to Jackson Heights, guys. So, the best food in Queens. Yeah. Usually is, yeah. This is like the melting pot of a, a lot, lot of, cultures. of cultures. So we're very intrigued by it. Alright guys, so this is what I have. I actually don't know what these are, but they look really good. I think you put entraña. I put a, as much meat as I can. <laughs> yeah, but Lucy saw the salad bar and she just went for it. But the meat, the meat that they have, like the steak and all the warm meat, is like very fresh. Like you get it from a guy that's still making Grilling it. it. Yeah, and they cut it for you. So and for both of this is only like $34. With the drinks, and this is very good. Yeah. Like I expected to pay at least fifty dollars on it, like for yeah. just this meal, but it ends up like being. So I, I might get a second thing, but we'll see. We're gonna enjoy. from Colombia and the Philippines but I've never had a Brazilian one. Oh. It's not as sour as uh, the Philippine or Colombian one. It's more savory. So that's, wow. that's surprising. Wow. 
but I'm still eating. Go. <laughs> I didn't realize how much steak that we ordered. But guys, for both of our plates, $34 with the drinks. So yeah. $15 for each plate and look, look how much meat I have to go for. And I'm really going to enjoy this thing. So I'm going to take my time. It's really full. My favorite is this fish. It's really good. And the couscous, onion stuff. Oh, this. And the plantains. But that goes to show that this is good for meat lovers and also people that like vegetables. It's mostly yeah. a meat restaurant. But no, the, the salad selection was pretty big if you guys saw there, but uh, I wanted to get some meat stuff just to taste it out, see, because that is part of the Brazilian mm -hmm. culture, so yeah, it was really good. What, how do you compare it to Colombian food? Mm, Colombian food is more <clears throat> dense, like it's more fried, it's more like, it's more greasy and it's like potatoes and stock in here it's more like the quality of the meat yeah but also there's like a lot of at least like on my part since i grab a lot of veggies and like stuff it was very fresh like it feels mm -hmm. very just fresh i'm not i'm not saying that Colombia food is not fresh yeah. but when you eat it you feel very like yeah Ugh. it's like fast food like i want to rest yeah. but with this i'm like oh i'm ready to like uh, yeah. get on with my day to me Having experience in Mexican food, Colombian food, Argentinian food. I think this is closer to Argentinian food for me because the, the way, the quality of the meat and the cook is great. Seasoning wise, I would say it's closer to Mexican seasoning. Mm. It's, it's not too much where it overpowers the meat. It's just enough that you can still get the flavor and take advantage of it. So. Thank you, Brazil. <laughs> remember we've been here around this area on another vlog another food vlog where we had some Nepalese food and it's very cool to be back in this area in the winter now because of course when we came it was the summer but it's still nice to enjoy all the food see all the locals and get to know Queens Queens is a big part of New York as well, so it's very gratifying. Oh, look! Whoa, it's a Colombian boutique. <laughs> oh, it's here, babe. I got red mango crab. How is it? Wow. 
Wow, yeah, you gotta good. try it, yeah. Okay. Mm. Right? It's cute, they still have their Christmas decorations. No, I think this is just for the dark. Like at night, this probably would look cool. Yeah, but look. <laughs> oh, yeah, there. never mind. <laughs> In the summer, it'd probably be at 9.5, but right now in the winter, they only have cold stuff. Uh, so, no, no, they, they have the, the hot crepes and stuff, but, uh -huh. you know, after, as a dessert, you know, I want like warm tea, like warm boba milk. They do, they do. <laughs> God damn, they did. Bonk. Why am I going for the cold washi tea? Lucy is losing it right now. <laughs> and I'm also cold. She's, she's, they also have a personal heater here, so you know, it's nice. Or the cold one. Okay, so after I told him that there is actually warm drinks, he got taro hot tea with Baba. <laughs> oh, baby, are you okay? Felt bad for reviewing this at eight. Try it, let's see. Careful, it's, it looks really hot now. I breathe in like all air. <laughs> 9.5, there we go. That's it, that's my real review. That's your real review. You got hot drinks, sweet hot drinks. That feels like you're in the clouds. Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> Do you want it's a really, drink? No, no, it's okay, it's okay. Wow, you are right. It's better when it's like warm stuff <laughs> in the winter. Successful food day. Successful food day. Yep. Jackson Hyatt has always impressed us and you know, I think we're gonna come here more often when it comes to these food New York City food adventures. Like the food is worth going to, but Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you on the next food vlog. Bye!